Some like a Mewtwo was cracking it, y'all angry by ratio. Yo, I'm back with another one. I'm gonna be reacting to two videos. Well, they're the same video, but you know, in TikTok, they divide them up into three minute minute segments. That a sister tagged me, and yo, thank everyone who tags me in um in in stuff. It gives me content to make and it helps me, you know, grow my channel a bit. So I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Oh, and after I react, I have um I have a, what's it called? I have a little preview of my new song, Say Her Name, coming out. So I'll give you all a, a little 20 second clip of it, but let's get into this. This one is about a 44 year old man, a 44 year old man who got with an 18 year old girl. And I say girl, cause 18 years old is still, is a kid. 18 years old is a kid. And I'll, people can say they're adults, only in my mind, only a fucking pervert. If you're if you're 44, only a pervert is gonna say an 18 year old is a is an adult, man. That's that's the little kid, you know. And this guy, oh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, I'll react to that part when we get to it. But it's disgusting. It's always black men doing the most, it's trying to get with these young kids. Fucking. You have an 18 year old girl pregnant. You did that. You did that. It wasn't on purpose, but you did it. You got you got a girl, baby girl, daughters. If some forty four year old got an eight your eighteen year old daughter pregnant, what would you like him to do about it? Man up and be responsible with the situation. Do you intend to be? Because you. He's forty four. He probably has an eighteen year old daughter, and that's the sick part of it. How are you gonna have daughters this girl's age and still? Get with someone. You understand that your daughter's a fucking kid still. It just, uh, I wish a motherfucker would approach my daughter. I got tons of land to bury someone in. Try me if you want to. You, my understanding is you're done. Yes, ma'am. Because uh, my you want to cut her loose and just walk off. But see, I don't want to come off as though I'm just turning my back on her and the child. It's that I, I'm going to be responsible and, and, and be there for her and the child. But if it's not going to be feasible for me in this relationship where I'm going to be straining mentally as well as financially as well as that's what I'm get. of course you're going to be straining mentally you got a kid fucking pregnant she's 18 years old and you were thinking with your dick and not thinking with your head an 18 year old cannot offer any a 44 year old nothing but I, I don't even want to say this it's making me gag but 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 sex is disgusting you know, so what the fuck? And that's the problem with a lot of black men today. They just think with their dick. That's it. And then we'll complain about the consequences. To take care of the cleaner in the house and everything like that, then it's not, it's not a good thing for Do you me. not clean up? I mean, I clean sometimes, but I mean, I'm pregnant. I don't most feel time. like doing the most. Most not, time, not, I don't not, feel not, like that, Miss Kim. I don't. Again, she's 18. You want an 18 year, year, year old to, 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 to be a housewife. She's 18. The fuck? I was pregnant, ran a courthouse, had a three-year-old, two stepchildren, cooked and cleaned. You can you can clean the house. I mean, I know I can do it, but most of the time I just don't be feeling up to. I'm feeling sick. Yeah, feeling I did that too. You throw up. Hey, I can understand what, what 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 that young sister is talking about. Like when my wife was pregnant, my wife gave birth to six kids uh, of mine. You know. And I was with her every step of the way. And my wife got extremely, extremely sick. Sometimes she couldn't even move. She lost so much weight. You know, that you know the hospitals, the, the, the doctor w w was afraid to start drinking um, insurance and stuff. She lost a lot of weight. My wife got extremely sick. So I can understand. If you, as a man, if you knock up a, 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 a woman, take care of her. Take care of her and that child understand that at least, at least, for the whole time that she's pregnant, you handling every fucking thing, you know? But a lot of these dudes don't, don't think like that. If my wife, when she was pregnant, I'd do it for her now, but plus she was pregnant. Three o'clock in the morning, she wanted me to go find some restaurant that she was craving for that was open and wake me up to go get it. I'm getting it for her. That's the least I can do. Some of these dudes, man. Get, get out of the bathroom, pick up the mop. <laughs> Let me say this to you, Mr. Maxwell. Your 
problem, but you got a lot of problems. And I really don't like what you did. I really don't. I Facts. You can't have no respect for a 44 year old man that that's sleeping with an 18 year 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 old girl, and then you want to fucking complain about how she ain't doing this. She's fucking 18, and to, in my in my mind, you ain't nothing but a pervert. It is what it is. I I, I find it selfish, self centered, small minded. But having said that, let me say this: you have created a situation. Give her an opportunity to grow up. And help her grow up. Facts. She's still a kid. And, and honestly, I don't think that he just started messing, messing with her when, when she, she turned 18. I think he was talking to her b beforehand. You know, I think this dude was doing a whole lot of statutory uh, grape out there. But, of course, he ain't going to say it. But it's it's because she's 18 now. And she looks like she's several months along. So, you know. All right, there, I'm, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Uh, don't be irritated that she doesn't know. Tell her what she needs to know and allow her to grow into being the woman that you need her to be. That's what I'm asking of you. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Or are you really just, don't, don't I, lie. I, I, I'm willing to do it, but I'm just at the final start. And, you know, it's like right here now. Take a look at Miss Cannon over there. What do you think you've done to her? So take a look at her, big man. Look what! Look at that! You've crushed her. I don't want to hurt her. Well, you, well, you are. Mm. You have honestly, the power. Uh, I'll be honest with you, honestly, I love her. I care a great deal about her. But she Man, I can't take any. I just want to punch this motherfucker in his weird ass fucking nose. I mean, and I, I for the life of me, it, she's eighteen. You're forty four. Ain't talking about you. You. You're in love with an eighteen year old girl. It's like, come on now. This is not back in the in the olden days. No, this is 2023. This shit is disgusting. And I can't believe, uh, anyway, I can't believe this has even been condoned in, in some places today. She can't satisfy all your needs right now, so you're just going to bounce. That's what you're telling me. You don't love her enough to, to, to bring her along. You don't love her enough to let her get a chance to get her feet up under her. You want what you want right now, and you should have it all, and you shouldn't have to wait. And you shouldn't have to take someone that you love who's going to be imperfect because we're all imperfect and, 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 and help them become what you need each other to be in the relationship. You're too selfish to mm. put that time in. Is that what you're telling me? That's exactly what he's telling her. He was thinking with, with his fucking dick. He wasn't thinking about any long term like most black men thinking with his dick and fuck the consequences. You know, I, he didn't give a damn that he got some 18 year old little girl. Pregnant. And, and, and now he's destroying her. Oh, man. I'm not telling you that. Then what are you telling? I'm telling you that it's, it's pretty much a wrap because we just we, we're not seeing eye to eye with a lot of things. Of course, you can't see eye to eye. You're old enough to be her fucking father and some. She's 18. This guy. That's what you're telling me. We're, you're, just not, we're not seeing a lot of things that we should be seeing together. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Heck of a time to find that out. Yeah. Heck of a time to do that. 44 years old. You should be ashamed and embarrassed. You better dig into him. When divorce court can... She better dig into his ass. Let's put up the next one and, and then I'm in it because my wife trying to drag me out to go to a couple more stores. <laughs> you know, woo. I don't know how I don't know how y'all sisters do it. We've only been to a couple stores and I'm ready to die already, man. It's like, man, I can't do it. All right. Let's put this up. I'll be back to making my, my TikTok videos probably tomorrow. I have to get some rest. <laughs> My wife puts a whole new meaning in shop to your drop because I'm ready to drop already. As long as been... Anyway, let's get, get on this. Because an older woman dating a younger guy, they consider cougars and they get patted on the back for doing it. And oh, she's just making a man out of him. Now she's 44 years old dating a 19 year old man, but then she's just a cougar. Oh, she's making a man out of him. Oh, that's okay. Let, let, let... You see the lack of accountability? He's like, whoa, well, if, if women can do it, why, 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 why,
black accountability is like kryptonite to black men. It's everyone else's fault. Like, did he just not try to push it on black women? You know, well, if a woman does it, what the fuck? We're talking about you thinking with your fucking Johnson. You're 44 years old. Have some fucking self-control. Have some fucking morals. No, no, so it has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with that. It's what you do once you get them. I had a cougar in here once who took a man, got him out of high school, made him take care of her children, and I ate her alive. Because it was wrong to be an older person and take advantage of a younger person. It has Facts, man. To do with gender. It has to do with being grown and old and taking care, taking advantage of somebody who doesn't know any better. And as soon as you don't get exactly what you want, you knock her up and kick her to the curb. That's what I'm upset about. Facts. I'm glad she's diving into him because she's been being really nice to this fucking pervert the whole time. Really nice. Because he is the typical black man out here, you know? Hit it and quit it. It doesn't matter who he hurts. It doesn't matter how, how many black women he destroys along the way. It doesn't matter how many bastard kids he leaves out there. He just wants to get his and keep it pushing and then make it seem like it's her fault. See how he's trying to blame it on that poor little girl? I keep saying little girl because she's a little girl. I'm 38 years old. You know what I mean? I'm old enough technically to, to, to be that 18-year-old girl's father. And I have four daughters myself. It's like... He's trying to push the blame on this little girl for not being the woman that, that, that he wants her to be. But she's fucking 18. I just want to strangle this guy. Now, you're suing her for $1,000. Why don't you explain that to me? And he's fucking suing her? You know that little girl ain't got no fucking money? Like, yo, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to divest. And leave these ninjas alone. Look at it. E little girls ain't safe. And, and I bet you this motherfucker love R. Kelly. <laughs> you know, you can't respect any man that that that, that, that be listening, that be listening to listening to and supporting men that, that have been that have been known to degrade, bash, and treat women, black women, like shit. But then, you know, but the, 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 this is the culture. This is black male culture, apparently. That's all they know how to do. I mean, <sighs> the thousand dollars is that you know it was just basically off uh, before she got pregnant, and uh, by me taking the boat and everything, I said I'm on disability. You know what I'm saying? I hurt myself when I own my own construction company. I ended up hurting myself, so now I can't work anymore. And now that she's pregnant, nobody would hire her at this point. So all these months, I've been carrying her. I take her, I buy her clothes. I take. I bet you this motherfucker be talking about to be talking about he, he he's a high value man and shit. Look, and you're suing her for a thousand dollars. You owe her everything. You owe her everything you fucking have. And if you knew you were on disability, you couldn't support a family. You shouldn't have started one. You should have took your money, got you a fucking vasectomy. Like I can't with the lack of accountability. You, man. You want a fucking cookie? That's your job. You're the man of the house. That's your job to take care of her and your fucking child. You don't, you don't get applause for that. She is helping you out. She is bringing your fucking child into this world. That's helping you out. That's giving you the greatest honor, the greatest blessing that 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 can be given to you. And and some some motherfuckers like you don't don't even deserve your 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 bloodline to be carried on. It's just fucking ridiculous. Mr. Maxwell, you are a full plate of jerk with a side of fool. There will be no recovery in this. You are one to talk to. Mm. Yeah, I know you're upset. You're 18 years old. You're pregnant. He's wrong and he's selfish. And I don't want whatever he does or does not do to find who you are. That's the only reason I wanted to talk to you. Don't worry about whether or not you can prove to him that you're mature. I don't even think that's what his problem is. He wants perfection. He wants everything his way. He's leaning on you in a way that he would lean on any woman. It's just easy to say that you're immature and lazy because you are so young. And if he does go, you put him on child support Facts. immediately. You keep with your education. You're going to be strong for me. 
Yes, ma'am. You're going to be great. Lawrence reports that he and Ciara are doing well. They are still together and things are much better. He says the only problem he has is that Ciara still won't clean up the house. But other than that, he's happy with her change. Ciara says that Lawrence has changed for the better. She says that he doesn't speak to her like she's a child any longer, and his nagging has stopped. She says having a one-on-one -on -one session with the judge really helped her to... That poor girl, man. That poor girl. She was groomed and tricked. And I, I, this may, may be cold, but I would say grapes because she's a kid. In, in my eyes, she's a kid. I'm 38. That, that motherfucker's 44. And, and if you find any attraction in someone who is 18, then there's something fucking wrong with you. A hundred percent. There's something completely wrong with dudes like that. But anyway, uh, you know, I'm a little bit off today, man, because, again, I'm tired. And my wife is running me ragged with this shopping. <laughs> I got to hurry up and go. But uh, I want to show you all a sample of this new song called Say Her Name. Like, um, I was single live, but I, I got a little bit of cold right now. <laughs> but um, I, I'm having a female rapper on this and, and a male rapper. And then it's going to be banging, man. This is a shout out to, to, to black women and all the struggles that, that, that they go through. But here's, a, uh, here's the hook. That is the hook, man. This is gonna be fire. This is gonna be fire. It's gonna be shout out to all the sisters out there that are in the front line of the struggle, but they're, 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 no one knows about them. The ones that, that are that are unappreciated and the ones who are appreciated. This be this can be about the Sandra Blaines, the, 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 the Brianna Taylors, and and all and all the the, the names that that you all put in, in a lot of my comments of, of of people that you've lost due to a lot of. But black male violence on black women. This is going to be a powerful song, and I can't wait to bring it out to y'all. I love you again. I'm sorry that this reaction was a little bit off. I'm exhausted. And I still got to go back out and hit a couple more stars with my wife. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's it's, it's part of my job. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all be safe and keep your head up, sisters.